fellow Pelican Sports right here at the LSU Soccer Stadium where I am with one of my all-time favorite LSU athletes who I've been friends with since... A long time. Yeah, I know, since we both came in here as freshmen. Miss Mo Isom. Mo, Hello. thank you for joining us. You're I welcome. Really Thanks for having me out here. So you have a big season lined up. Uh, Y'all start off the season one and one. What do you see? What are where, some realistic expectations for this team this year? I mean, realistic expectations. We're looking at certainly capturing the SEC West. That's um, a bar that was set a few years ago, and we are looking to reach again. Um, we're, we're, we're going to win the SEC. I mean, that's our, that's our number one focus, a deep run in the NCAAs. But, you know, altogether, uh, we want a cohesive season. You know, we want this team to click. We've been working so hard together. The chemistry is amazing. We're just ready to have fun and, and show off for the fans, you know, have a good time out here. So. And a big thing for the fans this year is that we have a beautiful facility out yes. here this year. So just tell us about the process of getting a stadium setting here. Right. It's been such an evolution coming in, um, you know, four years ago to where the stadium was, where the facilities were then, and the progress that they've made throughout the years. This new stadium is fantastic. It's going to be such an amazing environment for fans. We already have one of the best environments in the SEC. I mean, the fans are right there, down there on the field, right behind the coaches. They can hear the coach's direction. They can hear the players. And this just takes it to the next level. It matches all the rest of the amazing complexes and facilities at LSU. And we're proud to be Tigers playing on this field. In the off season in uh, the spring I was still recovering with the Achilles but getting back in shape working hard in the summer um, we have a lifting and a running program that we work on but I also got in with the football guys the LSU football team started lifting with them running with them doing a lot of agility sprint work explosiveness and that just helps not only for um, speed improvement and strength but just the mentality I mean they're insane and it's so much fun to train with them and it takes it to the next level so um, I'm ready to get out here and have a great season I feel great so what are some personal goals for you I mean you just mentioned that you had the big injury last year which sort of sidelined you throughout the season right how are you feeling going into this year right well it's a unique situation because last year I was I was down and out I was hurt and I was I was playing okay when I could and it was almost just sort of like hopeful um, you know that I'd get my time in you know personal goals I want my senior season. You know, I want to dominate. I, I always gun for the shutouts. I want to support my back line. I want to organize um, strong distributions. You know, I want to play, um, play my game, and, and I certainly plan to. All right, and you're on the field, you're a great player, but off the field, there's a lot of different things you do, and one of which is your deep faith. So just talk about this special vow that you've made this year that sort of has boys drooling throughout <laughs> South Louisiana. Well, I don't know about the boys drooling, but um, we serve a fantastic king. I mean, I'm a Christian, and um, I'm unashamed. That's where my heart is. That's where my soul is. That's where my identity is. So the beginning of this year, I felt called into a year-long intimacy fast. So physical intimacy, emotional. Um, I haven't dated. I haven't even talked to guys. haven't kissed a boy. I call it kissless till next Christmas, and I'm going eight months strong. So, um, you know, it's just been, it's been an, an unbelievably fulfilling experience to take focus off of um, something that seems so important at this at this point in our lives um, and to put it into my faith to put it into learning more about Christ digging into the word and just um, loving on other people rather than spending that attention um, worried about the love I'm receiving from men I focus it on um, serving others and I started a blog um, www.moisom.com and really I just at the beginning of it started it to share my testimony and it turned into this teaching tool and it really turned into this amazing facilitator for individuals to reach out, individuals who were ashamed of things or embarrassed or hurting or just for a little encouragement towards me. But anytime we can step outside of our own lives and work to serve others and love others and, and just help them, uh, it's fantastic. And this year has really provided that. So. How can fans get involved? Tell them some other things to get involved with the team. Right. We have so many um, fan-oriented games this season. We have a huge stretch at home. Um, there's priority point games where, where students can come out and they can get points um, for football tickets. There are fundraisers. I mean, there's we're doing locks for love. We have the pet in the park day where you can bring your dogs. There's going to be fireworks on September 9th at our home opener. Um, it's really just an awesome fan environment. There's um, club teams that come in with young girls. Uh, families can come. There's so many activity. There's so many things to do. And really, there's great soccer to watch. So I would encourage everybody to come out and cheer on the Tigers. It's going to be a really great season.